So what I'm about to say is considered controversial in this day and age, but I want to preface this by saying I am all for female equality. I was the only girl on my football team growing up. I am a rapper in a male-dominated industry. I have a career in a male-dominated industry. I run my household, pay all my bills by myself, have my own vehicles, and manage everything on my own. But I also know that God did not design my life to be this way. I was not meant to manage everything on my own. I was not meant to be the nurturer and the disciplinarian of my children. I was not meant to be the provider and also the homemaker. And I'm aware of that. And it's my own decisions that have brought me here. And it's my own acceptance of the lies that I was taught in this society. We're teaching men that they are not in fact the spirit heads of their households, that they are not the leaders of their households. We are shaming them for standing up in their masculinity and making decisions that would change and lead their families. And that's wrong. You know what I want more than anything in life is to have a man that spiritually leads me and my household. Why? because I'm in that position, because I have to. And I realized that I was designed to do other things, that I was designed and powerful in other ways. And I'm tired of managing it all on my own. I'm tired of being with men that I have to raise up spiritually because this society told them that wasn't their place. And because this society discouraged them from being masculine. And now I'm in a position where I have to take on a male and female role and act as if somehow I should be managing both. Am I capable? Certainly. But should I really be? No, I don't want to. We need to start encouraging men to stand firm in their spiritual positions so we can stand firm in ours. And I feel like if that happened, we would see way less broken families. We would see a stronger spiritual society and uh, we would we would be seeing a lot of healing um, I pray that that happens in my life and if not so be it and I'll stand in this position knowing I wasn't designed to be in both positions oh now you want to be a lady huh <laughs> Now you want to be feminine. You want to be submissive. You're tired of being a disciplinarian. You ready to be the stay-at-home mom, the nurturer. You tired of going out and paying those bills, huh? Into this harsh world that's meant to break you down if you don't succeed. If you don't compete, you die. This is what us men have to go through. And ladies, you don't want that life. But this is what strong and independent goes wrong. See, when you drink this Kool-Aid, that they're telling you modern women to drink, that uh, you can be a man, you can do everything a man can do. You're equal, you can go out and, and be successful. Now look what you're doing. Look at what it's done to you. Now you have a household with multiple children, you sleep in a cold bed, you can't keep a relationship. You know why? Because this is the route that you've chose. You wanted to act in your masculine. You wanted to go out to compete. I mean, listen to her. She said when she was growing up, she was the only female on her football team what are you doing playing football that, that's a masculine sport why are you a rapper what, what are you doing you know why because they told you like they're telling all these other women that you can do everything a man can do go ahead girl go, go out there compete so you try to compete where men compete we will swallow you up because we have no mercy because we have the burden of performance. We have to succeed or we die. We have to hunt, we have to grind, or we don't eat and we suffer. And we're gonna be on the corner holding a sign saying, I'm homeless, give me some money. Listen, us men, we have to grind. Day in and day out, week in, week out, year in and year out. And you thought that you was capable of doing that, all you ladies? Listen, this is not built for you. You're meant to follow a man. You're not meant to be in a man's shoes where you're running your household, trying to be the disciplinarian, and at the same time trying to nurture kids. That's not what you're supposed to do. What you're actually supposed to be doing is cooking, is cleaning, serving, and pleasing a man. That's the easy life. Why did you choose this life of, of, of grit and grind, of getting it out the mud? 
Why did you choose this life? This not, listen, your bone density is not built for that. You don't have the leadership tools for that. Listen, you don't have the confidence to really go out there every single day and put yourself out there on the line. You don't wanna be a male, but this is the route that you ladies have chose. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot more of these videos come out because as these women start to approach that wall, late 20s, 30s, 40s, they're gonna be like, man, I made a horrible decision. Why did I do this? I, I, sh I shouldn't have done this. I, I, I should have did what I was supposed to do and been a woman so I could have a man that I can follow. But instead, you wanted to do the opposite because you fed into the narrative. I'm telling you, ladies, you can make the change today. It might take a little time, but you can make the change because when you make that change, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to attract a man who's a leader, a masculine guy. Because there can never be two masculine people in a relationship. There has to be a masculine, the head, number one, and there has to be a submissive, a feminine individual. And I, she specifically said the guys that she basically chooses are the guys who she has to basically pamper and lead. She has to make the decision. She has to be basically the, the number one. That's because if she's masculine, she's going to automatically have to choose someone who's the polar opposite. She's going to choose a guy who's weak, who doesn't know where he's going in life, who's not a leader, who, who doesn't have his head on straight. This is why so many of these women, guys, they always choose low down losers. And you wonder why, man, I'm a, I'm a quality man. I, you know, I, I'm a masculine guy. I, I got, I'm educated. I'm on my grind. I got this going. You know why most of these women choose losers? It's because they can control them. It's because they don't have to submit. It's because they don't have to follow their lead. It's because they can be in control of the whole situation. And that loser, most likely he doesn't have a job or he's in and out of work, maybe uh, uh, in prison or he doesn't have his own. He can't survive with his own. This is why these women, these masculine women, listen to her, go rewind back. This is why they choose those type of guys. Because they want to run the show. Because they want to dominate those men. Because they're scared of masculine men who own their life, who's able to do different things, who's out there grinding, who's out there making moves. They're scared of those guys. See, guys, <laughs> uh, the chickens have come to roost, okay? It, it, it's going to get much, much harder for you women because the more you try to fight your biology and the more you try to fight against us men, it's not going to work. Listen, we are built for this. We, are, we have built this world. You didn't build anything. You just move in. So go ahead, ladies. Choose your path. What do you want to do? Do you want to continue to go out there and work and be this strong, independent diva and secure the bag? Do you want to continue to go out there and, and, and try to make moves and compete against us? You will never win. Because we are dogs. We are, listen, we are hungry. We are animals, us men. We have to grind and compete or we lose or we die. So what do you ladies want to do? It's your decision. I mean, I mean, do you want to continue to be the to head of your household, to lead? Now, I take it she's a single mother because she said, you know, her kids. So I'm like, oh, so now she's ready for a man, an idiot, to step in and be the head of her household and run her kids and, and direct. Here's the thing, ladies. You don't like that because that's not the biological father. So next time, choose a guy who's proper, who's able to lead and guide, as opposed to getting knocked up by losers and thinking that, yeah, I, I want to be the head of my household. You don't like doing that spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. You're not built for that life. So what will it be? Are you going to continue to sit around and say, well, uh, I don't need no man. I'm strong and independent. You can't handle a real woman. You can't handle a strong woman. No. Masculine men don't want to deal with masculine women. It will never work. But guess what? You masculine women can deal with feminine, weak men, men who are homeless, men who don't have a dollar to their name, men who don't know how to go out and compete, men who are in the streets. That's the only type of guy you're going to truly attract. This is how it is, ladies. So what will it be? What's your move? Because as men, we're going to continue to grind. We're going to continue to go out there. We're going to continue to produce. Your job as a woman is supposed to be following a man, serving and pleasing. If you don't want to do that, what are you going to do? Go out there and work? Go out there and compete? We will break you down. 
this is not the life you want. So go ahead, continue to do what you want to do. Just keep saying, I don't need a man and keep sleeping in that cold bed or keep having dudes run through you throughout your 20s, 30s and 40s. Keep having that because that's what's going to happen. No man, no who respects himself, who's a masculine man, wants to deal and be with a woman who thinks she's in control, who, who's trying to run the show, who wants to be the decision maker. Are you ready for a leader? If you're ready for a leader, if you're ready for a disciplinarian, if you're ready for a man who has goals, who have purpose, who has a mission, you have to submit, you have to be feminine, and you have to stop having this hard exterior, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in control, I run the show, I, I wanna do what I want. I, I, you ain't gonna tell me what to do. Oh, great, okay, enjoy being alone.